second in us about yourself, the first, and how you're beginning the life in UAE with Mr. Muhammad to begin this company. Well, I came here in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a chartered accountant by profession, so I was working in a company, mm -hmm. and um, I worked here for two years. Then I met Muhammad, and he's a businessman through and through. Uh, he's never worked in a, an office or as a job before mm -hmm. and uh, he came from USA exploring the opportunities in UAE. We mm -hmm. met and I explained to him what all we can do. Uh, since I was in a logistics company, that was the first thing that I offered that we can start a logistics company and uh, I know I can help you with the rules and regulations and all those things. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we had, because I was a chartered accountant, it was back in 2017 and we mm -hmm. knew that the VAT is coming in in UAE so it was a good opportunity for us to start uh, the VAT related uh, services mm -hmm. so those are the two options we started with okay. and uh, mashallah we are growing slowly yeah. so now we have become kind of a group of companies instead of right. just two businesses and we have a couple of other things Isn't it's right. going well tell me about this group uh, what you have this company group company and what you have service about your company right so as i said the first thing we started was the management consultancy firm mm -hmm. where uh, the idea was to help the businesses especially small to medium sized businesses mm -hmm. with the uh, business startup for example if you're a, an entrepreneur or you want you have an idea you want to create something and you don't know where to start in ua how to do a go about it i have uh, you would require somebody who can tell you, okay, yes, whether this money, this idea can make money or not. So you start with the business plan, feasibility, market yes. research. So that's the first step. We help these kind of services to the new business owners or the new uh, entrepreneurs or youngsters who want to build the idea. And then uh, once you have a business, if it's already a startup, mm -hmm. then we help you set it up, set it up in terms of your organization structure, who to hire, mm -hmm. what should be the policies, how to comply with the laws and regulations in UAE, mm -hmm. um, how to manage your accounts, finance, uh, taxes, mm -hmm. banking, and all those kind of things. So all the support functions so you can concentrate on your business and we can take care of the rest, the running of your company for example. Oh, nice. Yeah. Tell me about the specialized about your group company and what the difference between your company and another company is working like you. Um, there's, uh, to be honest, the thing that uh, inspired me to open this business was I was working as uh, a person who was sitting on the other side of the table, meaning I was working as a finance uh, analyst, regional finance analyst for two major MNCs in UAE previously, mm -hmm. and uh, when. I was dealing with other companies as a customer. The biggest challenge I was facing is mm -hmm. the communication. Most often it used to happen that as a business owner, uh, a normal business owner cannot understand the basic language of uh, the, the rules and regulations or if I explain to them how your financials are working, they might not understand. They want to know in a layman's term, you know, how how I'm making money, how I'm losing money. Mm -hmm. And that was the biggest gap. As a chartered accountant, I know that because I used to do the same thing, so a mistake again. But when we started these businesses, with especially with Muhammad's help, he, is an, he has always been a businessman. So he helped me understand and translate the language of our usual businessmen. And we can now help them from the commercial point of view. So when we talk to our customers or the big customers that we have, I think uh, why they are staying with us or why they are happy with us is because I can understand what they want and I yeah. can explain to them uh, how they can get it rather than just telling them okay you're making loss you're making profit so I think that's the reason they are staying with us and that's the reason we are going because we help them not just from the services we are offering we help them grow as well yes yeah, yeah. And Mr. Mm -hmm. what about your vision in the future? How you see yourself and with Mr. Muhammad to this group company mm -hmm. in the vision in the future in UAE? Well, um, this is a land of uh, opportunities. You can the way we have grown in last yes. uh, three four years since we started. I think in another three four years, if things go the way they are going, we should be instead of having seven companies, we might have a way bigger portfolio than that. 
and uh, mashallah everything is going very well mm -hmm. right now we have around close to 200 employees and uh, we are hoping we can go to maybe 5000 in the next uh, 3 years Inshallah. so we are trying as a you know as a new businessman as a new entrepreneur but this is a land of opportunity as i said before so if we can make it happen here that's that's the only way nice yeah. about your employees about your staff how you show them to make it this work to growing up more and that in UAE? Uh, one thing that uh, that what i learned over here is that you can dream you can dream about everything and yeah. you can get it it's yeah. easier uh, compared to other you know countries that uh, it's not those so supportive or it takes time for you to reach to the level that we have reached in such a short time it, it gives you opportunity to mm -hmm. go fast and mm -hmm. go quickly so the same platform I would like to give to my employees as well and everybody who is working in our company mm -hmm. right now has an option to come up with an idea and we can start that's how we actually went from two companies to seven because one of the employees would come and say oh I can, I'm good at this I can do this and we would say okay let's partner together and we can make it happen and uh, that's how we came up with the shop uh, one of the employees in uh, a retail company he wanted to work and has his own shop mm -hmm. he invested in that and we started building together and now mm -hmm. he's making money we are making money and it's growing as well same way it happened with the scrap metal trading and that's how we have been multiplying our resources so we believe in partnering up with people and uh, that way you are making them grow and mm -hmm. they are helping you grow as well so that's about it safety and security in UAE, what the meaning about personal, your life and about your work? I don't think there is any other country who is as safe and secure, especially for women. This is personally I have felt. I didn't know, I didn't believe that any other country would give you uh, an opportunity that I can walk out in the night mm -hmm. at even 3 o'clock and uh, I don't feel that okay, I need to, you know, uh, be safe or tell somebody i can i i can roam around alone on the road and it won't feel it i won't feel insecure about it mm -hmm. so i think from personal safety i don't think there is a better place to be as a woman as a as a person or even for families and as a business as well uh, i think this is very secure and uh, things are very smooth over here mm -hmm. it's not that uh, the market is not that difficult if you want to know how to do about, go about it it's not as difficult to do business as uh, in maybe in other countries especially it's tax free so yes. whatever you make it's your own money and uh, i think the laws and regulations the way they are improving because i'm i'm in the business of managing those laws and regulations it's very easy compared to the countries and uh, my country for example the mm -hmm. things that we have to comply with is still very favorable in terms of uh, doing business what do you have message thanks about him what he give us here for safety and security and good position to make it any work See, uh, the, the thing that I feel, uh, I would tell you a small story, 
I had never been out of my country before I came to UAE. Mm -hmm. I had never traveled abo abroad. The minute I landed in Dubai, I was at uh, Dubai Terminal mm -hmm. and uh, Terminal 3. First thought I got in my head, wow, this is a vision, you know. You see the change in the in the in the in your perception in your consciousness it, it suddenly it's like you're here and you in an instant you will feel you're here yeah and you you have your mind expands you can you envision that you can do something as well i think that's the biggest uh, opportunity and that's the biggest uh, gift you can say uh, the rulers over here have and they help the people who are coming here as well in seeing that that in last 10 or 20 years, the way Dubai has moved from here to here, all you see around, yeah. it's like a blink of an eye. No country has progressed that quickly, yeah. right? So it gives you the confidence that we can do it as well. And this is a place where you yeah. can do as well. Yeah. And I believe that, that that thing that happened with me at that time when I landed here mm -hmm. has actually uh, proven this as well because now after seven years I landed here as an employee of an XYZ company now I'm my I'm having you know my own seven companies and we are still growing yeah. in just seven years it's, um, it's not a joke right so yeah, I think that's the biggest thing that this country and the rulers over here have and they give it to the people as well yes of course you can grow what you can tell him thanks about this one I would say thank you so much <laughs> for has giving us the opportunity of being in your country mm -hmm. and letting us grow as well as with the country and I think as a community uh, because the another thing that is the beauty of this place is that uh, we have more than I think 180 or 200 municipalities yes. over here yes of and course. it's amazing I mean can you believe that we can from corners of different you know different corners of the world people are joining hands and they are growing together and you can go to the beach you can wear some uh, see somebody you know running in their swimsuits and <laughs> yeah. another person in their complete abaya and nobody is judging anybody else you know yes of this course is the biggest uh, thing i don't think any any other place in the world has that yes, so i would say thank you so much for having us in your country and letting us feel that it's our country as well and uh, giving us the opportunity to grow with you That's Who support you in your life, in your work, about your family, about your friend, about Mr. Muhammad? Yeah. What you can tell him thanks in my TV channel and my program? Well, Muhammad really is a blessing for me. You don't find a lot of people in the world who are, um, you know, who are open and honest and can do, do let you grow as well, you know. So people who can, um, I have found a friend in him more than a business partner. And the way we coordinate and the way we support each other is amazing. And um, I thank him first of all because he has given me the opportunity to be in the business because I was, if I was alone, maybe it would have taken me more time to reach where I am today. And apart from that, of course, my family, my parents, uh, as a woman in our country, it's not very easy for them to uh, dream and, you know, quickly grow and I think my parents have truly given me that confidence since childhood that I can dream and I can have it so thanks to them for not uh, you know for letting me have what I want and um, that's about it.